Hey Kickstarter, it's Aaron here from Pi Supply. Um, just going to do you a little um, update all about the software. So not really anything um, on the hardware, but just purely showing you the um, new firmware and the new software that we've got on the Pi Juice um, that's running this display. So um, if we show you close up, as you can see, the Pi Juice, um, you can see the charge icon here showing it running on battery, 95% um, battery at the moment. Um, so this, we actually have a um, dot .deb um, Debian package for this, so it's really su super easy to install, um, and hopefully soon we'll get that into apt, um, so that you can just do an apt get install of it, um, the way you install everything else on the Pi. Um, so you can see, you can hover over it and see the percentage. Um, you can right click and configure, and that will bring you to, oh sorry, um, you can right click and click configure and it will bring you to the menu or alternatively if I just close that you can go up to the start menu um, go to preferences and you'll see in there Pi Juice configuration um, there uh, so it takes you to the same screen basically um, which yeah shows you all of the um, details for Pi Juice. Now there's a lot of functionality and a lot of um, options um, in here we've taken a long time to get this to where it is today um, and we're pretty pretty pleased with with the amount of functionality you can get I think there's a lot more than we'd originally planned at the very beginning of the Kickstarter but you know it's taken us so long that I don't think that's a bad thing um, so as you can see this is the main hat screen shows you the battery level um, the, the power input over the GPIO um, which is from the Raspberry Pi itself. So that's basically saying what the voltage and um, amperage is on the actual GPIO pins um, because currently we've got it plugged in via the Pi's micro USB. If you were to plug in to the Pi Juice's micro USB, um, it, would show, um, it would show values there as well. Um, so you've got it saying the faults um, and everything there. Um, so this is just kind of one of the menus. Um, we've then got the configuration menu which allows you to configure a load of other stuff. So this is kind of um, the general configuration of the Pi Juice. So you've got um, I2C addresses, the RTC I2C addresses. Um, you can configure buttons and what they do. Um, so there's three buttons on board. You can configure what they all do. Um, you can configure the LEDs and what they do. So you've got a variety of standard options um, and then you can do custom options as well if you want. Um, then there's battery profiles. So you can you can do custom profiles um, by selecting there, or you can choose from pre uh, our predefined ones. So the BP6X is the original battery we were, we were going to use, the 1400 milliamp hour one. The BP7X is the one we're going to ship with, the 1820 milliamp hour. And then you've got the 2300 milliamp hour one, the 5000 milliamp hour one, and then um, custom ones um, as you wish um, and then last but not least on this screen we've got the firmware update so you'll be able to update the firmware automatically through there um, rather than through the command line so it's really nice and easy and then moving back to this other um, configuration menu you've got the actual um, wake up alarm configuration so that's where you have it auto shut down and then come back to life using um, the run pin or if you're just powering it through the pi the pi juice um it, it can it can do that automatically without the run pin um you've got system tasks so watchdogs um wake ups um stuff like that system events um so if we enable one of these you can see um you know what to do um on an event so for example low battery voltage you can say right okay what should we do on low battery voltage um, and then you can you can do one of these predefined ones, or you can do a uh, a user script. So these user scripts are mapped into this user scripts menu here. Um, user functions. So it's uh, yeah, that's kind of a, a good overview of the Pi Juice software. And if um, as said in the previous update with the icons, um, as the battery charges, those icons will go higher and higher until it's full. And it will also change the icon depending on whether you're charging from the Pi or the Pi Juice itself. So, yeah, hopefully that's a nice overview. We'll be sticking all the code on GitHub. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks very much for watching.